Hey everyone, welcome back to For Wheels Empire. If you're seeing the PO357 code pop up on your OBD to scanner, don't worry we've got you covered. This code indicates an issue with the ignition coil G circuit, which is linked to cylinder 7. In this video, we're going to walk you through the steps to diagnose and fix the problem. Let's get started. The PO357 code means there's an issue with the ignition coil circuit for cylinder 7. This could be due to a faulty ignition coil, a wiring problem, or even a bad connection. If left unchecked, it can lead to misfires and poor engine performance. Engine misfire, your engine might feel like it's skipping or running rough. Decreased fuel efficiency, you might notice you're burning more gas than usual. Check engine light, of course, the dreaded light on your dashboard. OBD scanner, ratchet and socket set. Replacement ignition coil if necessary, screwdriver. First things first, let's confirm the issue by scanning the vehicle with our OBD to scanner. Plug the scanner into the OBD to port, which is usually located under the dashboard. Once connected, run the scan, and if PL357 comes up, we know we're dealing with an ignition coil issue. We need to locate ignition coil G. Depending on your vehicle, the ignition coils may be directly on top of each cylinder or connected by a wire. Refer to your vehicle's manual too. Identify which one is G. Now, carefully disconnect the wiring harness from the ignition coil. Look for any visible signs of damage like cracks, corrosion, or burn spots on the coil and the connector. If the wiring looks fine, we'll test the coil itself. If your coil is bad, replacing it is straightforward. Remove the bolts holding the coil in place, swap in the new coil, and reattach the wiring harness. Make sure to apply a bit of dielectric grease to the connector to protect it from moisture and corrosion. Once the new coil is installed, plug the OBD to scanner back in and clear the PO357 code. Start the engine and take the car for a test drive. If the code doesn't return and the symptoms are gone, you're all set. And that's it, fixing the PO357 code is a manageable DIY job, and by following these steps, you can save yourself a trip to the mechanic. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.